Okay, hello guys, this is Unbob13 with Rose Angles, and I just wanted to show you a quick commentary over a game I did and support Soraka in patch 4.1 now. And. Sorry, I'm. Okay. It's not really much, it's just I want to point out a few things that changed in the Ardent Sensor. And this is low silver. Um, silver 4 in promotion in a promotion to get to silver three so probably like mid silver ish Eva. so here it is okay welcome Maybe to you know, it's a soraka now in this patch i feel like it's a lot easier to carry a support like whatever support you want to use because a little thing called ardent sensor which Builds out of Forbidden Idol and Aether Wisp, which gives 10% cooldown reduction to mana regen for 5 seconds, 30 ability power, 8% attack speed, and has a passive that when all of your shields and heals for your allies grant them 25% or 25% attack speed buff for 6 seconds. So, that's as long as Yomu's, and that's a pretty long time. I feel like they're probably going to nerf just the attack speed buff. I don't know about the rest of it. The AP is pretty low, so it's not too bad but for how much it costs. But, so, we're just going in lane. It's a hoax to stay in lane since, I mean, Caitlyn and Soraka, so she could be using, she's not using a bunch of spells, or, or a bunch of abilities, or really, she could be using more since I have the mana fusion, but, so, get half health, full mana, and getting more health, I'm full health, half mana. Both of their champions are less than half health. I would have run Ignite, but I didn't really feel like, I wasn't very confident against a Lee Sin and a Bane. So I went ahead and got exhaust for late game. So we're just doing So they already had to back five minutes in. So losing all that golden XP for the minions that die while they're at Zara. We're gonna go ahead and stay in lane. They got a Doran sword, so just one Doran sword isn't really gonna be much against the next few damage. So we're gonna get caught off here and separate herself. I'm gonna go ahead and change to my vision. Organic got separated herself from Bane, so we went ahead and got between them and kind of kind of aggro and not aggro, you get the point. So they couldn't go back to Evo, so Morg had to go all the way back or risk dying. Now I'm low mana, case low health. I can run out of here. Now we saw the Vi hit the Kate snare, but yeah, this is bad. So. We saw Vi hit the gate snare and we immediately started moving back. I was about to ward. About it. So, the heal lets me avoid it, the work binding, and Kate sets her up for a condemn into the wall and gets stunned. I couldn't do anything about that. My heal just came off cooldown after she died. I'm not sure if it would have saved her or whatever. Now, a Mumu, I'm not sure what he was doing in Gammon and Flash. I just went with it. He's not gonna die or anything, either way. And I was just gonna back, so. I'm not really losing anything. So here, Kate's free farming man. And we are gonna hit level 6 first since they backed, and Morg missed so much XP. I believe. I mean, Bane hit 6, but then. I believe when I hit 6, Morgan is it's level 4 if I remember right. So. Kate first back got Doran Shield and Vampire Scepter, or when she died. I finished, or I upgraded an ancient coin to Nomad's Medallion and got two fairy charms to go towards the Forbidden Idol. So I can use more spells just because the items I'm building have so much mana regeneration, a ridiculous amount. Now, they go for the thing. Morgana did the thing again where she separated herself. That word was a mistake. But she separated herself from Vayne again. So we went ahead and got between them, and it couldn't really do much. So we were both six, Morgan is five, and six. So, okay. Did we? We lost mid turret there. That's okay. Because you don't want to pay attention to top or mid. I mean, 
I am Soraka, so it would be helpful. That's somewhat helpful, I suppose. Like, maybe if I ulted there, then... Uh, Rise could have killed Lee but... I mean, most supports don't have that kind of global pressure. So you, d it, you don't want to pay attention to how top or mid are doing, if you are as a winner. You just have to pay attention to your lane. And... So here, they're both below half health again. Kate is full health and mana. I'm above half on both. So... I'm kind of expecting a Vi gank sometime soon. Um, she was just top though, so... I award if you can if you get a turret and then with a jungle gank and then you go to get dragon you want to go ahead and put a vision ward right there or if you are top or mid or jungle you can put one here or jungle here if your support has one and try or river bush or something uh no whoops and so this vision always helps, and a vision ward only costs 100 gold, and if you put it in, like, one of these two brushes, it lasts more than 10 minutes most of the time. Sometimes it can last half to an hour, or upwards of that. So, vision just helps a lot if your mid is roaming down, or if their jungle comes mid and goes bot, or if they're trying to set up a dragon. You can see all of that from here, and then mid roaming top and jungle going mid sometimes or counter jungling or whatever you can see that right there so just those words are nice words for closeness now because i didn't do that we didn't see by or asander coming in they came down tr down here and they try i would have seen them go for it. unless i suppose they could have done a blink because they didn't know where vision was they could have um, good, and over here. So they're pretty obviously going to Dragon. Mumu does not have Smite up, he's about to, and he just uses it on the Golem. I was pinging, like, War, or I saw him in jet, like, go ahead, War Dragon, whatever. Like, maybe you can Smite Seal, but he didn't, he didn't try. So, that's that. I can't really do much about that. Caitlyn went ahead and got Zeal, which is buffed in this patch. It, the... I believe the cast is reduced by 50-ish gold, and the attack speed buff got raised to 20% from 15%. And Vayne is not as good in this patch, there, just because Badaraku was nerfed. Well, it was nerfed in duels against AD carries. If you want to run Vayne top, it was pretty much buffed. But in general, um, BF Sword was buffed, and I don't remember for Infinity Edge, but BF Sword is a much better item, like, mid to late game. It, they took away the stacking passive, so it's just, and it's raised the flat 80 to 80 damage. And they added a nice shield passive. Now, I believe Kate gets that early, I'm not sure. She might get Phantom Dancer. Okay, so I went ahead and finished Forbidden Idol and got Amplifying Town here. Now, Bryce is teleporting bot, so, Caitlyn it's some nice damage on work, she's almost said. I'm not sure why I ult there. Maybe just, like, she didn't even care, just, like, the extra damage on Bane. Like I said, it's always like... So... There. They were low. And we we're all full, so we're in 3v2, so we're gonna go ahead and try to push the tower. Here. And... Okay, Bane is getting really close for some reason. So she gets kind of. I guess because Vi was there. And she knew that, and we didn't. So I die here to Vi. And Vayne does get caught up, but she will survive. Now Rise finishes up the kill on Vi and Morg. And then dies to the condemn. There. Now, a little trick I want to show you. Just something. If you're trying to raise Elo, is take this and check it off in ranked. Now, I, you can't really, like, this is a uh, lol recorder, but I do have it disabled in the in-game client, and I have for more than a month, and it's a lot better. If you want to play ranked, and you're gonna, you want to focus on the game, whatever they say in all chat, it doesn't matter, 
can't say anything that matters to me. Now, I, real quick, please just read in the for for what I got next. I am going for Odin's Crescent, or whatever it's called. So, just the ultra, like, there's nothing that your team or the other team could say that you need to know. You don't need to know anything about the other team, obviously. Um, so for your team, I mean, like, if you think they're going to try to report you or something, just know, like, you're not gonna, like, if you get nine reports, it doesn't matter. Like, you don't need to defend yourself in the all chat. Like, unless, because people of the true will can tell, like, if you are playing selfishly, that's not ban worthy. Just, that's it. That You can't get banned for that. Or anywhere near ban. It's just, like, no warning, nothing. You will not get punished for playing selfishly. Now, if you are intentionally feeding, or you AFK, or you are toxic, that is pretty much what you get in trouble for. Now, they're all MIA here. I'm not sure where they are. I believe Bane and Soraka were getting white camp. Oh, yeah, okay. But, no, you can't see those in the game, though. It's a little quarter thing. But, whatever. So just, like, if you can try not to pay attention to that. So we don't have an interest in that, obviously. So, where is our shades from? Uh, we saw Lissandra over the team stream a couple times, and she's still there. So go ahead and make mid, and free kill. Now, silence her so she can go back to the glacial path. Now, I can cut off here, and I don't believe I don't die yet. Okay. So, I'm 013, Kate is 131. So, we're not too bad. I'm not sure what you were doing, Dragon Pit, but okay. So I'm like, guys, why don't we just take major? But they insist on going to bot. I guess. No, that wasn't good. I mean, he he got her flash down, so that's okay. But no, he doesn't have salt. So I don't know why we were still here. I'm like, guys, come on, let's leave. And he dives, and and that was really bad. Okay. But just screw it. I should have just walked away. I don't know if I do. I think I end up dying. I'm just gonna. I, I'm not sure. I don't know. Do. So, yeah, I ended up dying really soon because I'm an idiot. So, no matter what, like, if you're a jungle, top, mid, ADC, support, it doesn't matter. If your team is dying and you can't do anything about it, like, if your ADC is. If there are four people ganking bot lane and you have an ADC and, you, and your ADC doesn't have flash up, you're. Like, you can't even, like, if you try to die for that, they're just gonna focus the ADC. You are not going to save them. So if you try to go in, all you're doing is killing yourself. There's a thing about here, or whatever, it doesn't matter. So, I, was I even in there? Yeah, I was okay. So I picked up a couple of assists. I did finish Arden and Sensor. Sensor, I that's what I was gonna learn. I'm going toward, building towards another Forbidden Idol for the team's turret has been tier 3 ancient goal. Or ancient goal, I'm not sure. I don't know what it's so, we're gonna hit Sabine. Okay, and he's a from farming. I go ahead and mech. We have mid turret up, so. We are down in gold, but we can't see gold all we see is whatever kills, assists, turrets, and deaths. It's a yes, so. I don't believe anyone on my team has playing like the whole time, so that was good. No, Timo gets caught off and dies. So, they have a lot of CC, really. The Sandra Elf, Vi Elf, Morg Snare, they, it's, they can make picks really easily. So they're trying to dive 5v2. Rise comes up, makes it 5v3. And you get some nice damage on the Morg. She's gonna have to back it if she doesn't want to die. That leads in cute. He had vision of us with minions. I'm not sure what he was thinking. But so, see, I'm gonna go ahead and back. They're heading mid, so Ryze and I go back mid, and Caitlyn is coming up to defend. And Ryze gets a really, <laughs> well, pretty easy kill off Lee That was a lot of damage. So, no, let's, let's just watch Soraka because that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to teach you guys how to carry silver, low, elo, whatever. So, it doesn't really matter what my team answer does. Now, I go ahead and back. I have a ridden on I guess I got that last time I backed. I'm not sure. I, okay, yeah, I finished. 
talisman. So I'm going for it just because uh, that's what the Q binding uh, I'm used to. I've had a couple of people ask me that about that. So let's go ahead and just see if we can get a good team fight and where I get some heals off. Now, okay, they're trying to do something about here. Um, right stuff where it's that's I'm not sure what he was doing there, but stupid death. Um so Caitlyn does have blood thirst right now. After Zeal. I guess she got Zeal and it's a good early item though, no, I suppose. Just sit on. So that's two for two. That's okay. And that's you vain and go and flash away. Because I can't fight a vein. I'm not sure if I die here. Two to eleven, my KD8 is pretty good. No, is that how it's going again? I'm not sure. This is a really weird fight. Did I? Yes, I believe I. Yeah, let's go ahead and watch this. No, let's wait. Do I heal Caitlyn at all? Please. I hope I heal Caitlyn again. I can't heal Caitlyn. No, I heal myself because they're okay, sure, whatever. I tried. <laughs> okay, so. This rough kit isn't great for it, Sona is, because she can heal two targets, and obviously if you want to build like Thrasher Viana with Locket of Iron Solari, that's it was already a decent item, but it's great to rush now if no, it's get great as a second item. If you wanna get like You still wanna be pretty tanky on them. So maybe I guess late game if you wanna get like yeah, boots. Uh, Talisman is the best support item, like, game. Like, it doesn't matter how tanky you need to be. So, if you want to get, like, boots, um, tier 2 engine coin, and then upgrade it to Talisman later. Use Sunfire or something. Maybe. Lockados Iron Solari is still a good mid game item by itself. So then, like, Sunfire, Lockados Iron Solari. Uh, Arden's Crescent and just something situational, but so, no, the rest of the game is full of a bunch of throws, just like, we end up taking it mid inhibitor, and then the two Nexus hurts, and then we keep trying to go for the Nexus, like, 5v4, like, with us on 5, each one of them got caught off, and they just, like, be bad positioning all around for, like, the next... 10 minutes so that's not fun to watch that's gonna be really boring but just yeah thanks for watching just really don't if your teammates are going to die and you can't do anything about it don't try you're just going to get yourself killed that is enough. don't use all chat it doesn't you don't gain anything from it pay attention to the map map awareness just like and i want to say try to keep pressure up but this is a support game so it doesn't really matter like you can't pressure much so yeah okay Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.